Hello there, welcome back to Latter Day Jeppy, or welcome to the channel, one of the two. Um, thank you for tuning in to week 14, 15 of a weekly loaf of bread. Um, this week, of course, you can see on the screen that we're going over, and of course, in the title down below, we were talking about chapter 14 of 1st Nephi. Um, so, again, this is continuation of what Nephi seen because of the angel which appeared unto him. Um, so then it starts off that um, it came to pass that I, if the Gentiles shall seek or shall hearken unto the Lamb of God in the day that he shall manifest himself unto them in the word and also in power and in very deed unto the taking away of their stumbling blocks. So practically that if the Gentiles, as we, as Gentiles, um, hearken unto the word of God, he will manifest himself unto us by word, power, deed, and it will help us to remove these stumbling blocks that stand before us as humans. Um, then he goes on to state that they shall be numbered among the seed of my father, yea, also shall be numbered among the house of Israel. So, as the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, we believe in patriarchal blessings, and I talk a little bit about this in another video, but in them, we are all given a tribe of Israel. We are all either adopted or we are born into one of the tribes of Israel, and this is what this is talking about, that as we hearken unto the Lamb of God and not fight against him, that we can be numbered among the tribes, and you have anybody can actually be numbered among the tribes of Israel as we follow the prophet and do the things which have been stated down to us and, and all these things like it states uh, it states that we can be numbered among the tribes of Israel meaning so as the Israelites are the chosen people you know and in the Bible we always like focus on the Israelites um, and it's good to know I think it's good refresher to know that as we strive to be the best that we can be by following God and Christ's teachings that we ourselves can become, we can be numbered with those tribes. So we can be numbered with the promised people, even though we may be Gentiles. And then it says, they shall be blessed, a, a blessed people. Um, and as we just go down a little bit, um, the angel again is speaking to Nephi. He says, behold, that if the Gentiles repent, it shall be well with them. Whoso repenteth not must perish. So... We need to be repenting always. Repentance isn't just a one-time thing. Repentance is is a lifelong thing. It's something that we have to do our entire lives because as humans, we're, we're always going to mess up. Even the apostles and prophets mess up on this world. As we can read um, in certain, in chapter Second uh, Nephi 2, it goes in and Nephi even states that he has faults, which is just crazy to me, um, thinking that Nephi, this mighty prophet, has faults. But he goes on and states that he has these faults. And that he also repents of them. And so it goes to show that as, as, as myself that I need to repent daily. Because I'm going to make, make, be making mistakes daily. And I need to strive to do better each day and become more Christ-like. Um, Woe unto the Gentiles if it so be that they were they harden their hearts against the Lamb of God. Um, and then he goes on to state that um, for the time cometh that I will work a great and marvelous work among the children of men, either to the convincing of them unto peace and life eternal, or unto the deliverance of them to the hardness of their hearts and the blindness of their minds, unto their being their unto their being brought down into captivity. Um, and then the angel states unto the Nephi, Look and behold the great abominable church. Um, and he states, Behold, there are saved two churches only. And I talked about this a little bit in my last video, I believe. Um, there are two churches only. The church, the one is the church of the Lamb of God, and the other is the church of the devil. Um, so again, there's two churches. And so if the church is teaches things that aren't correct doctrine, that aren't in, in line with the gospel of Jesus Christ, then it's going to be of the church of the devil. Um, those people that don't belong to the church of the Lamb of God are of the church of the devil. Um, because again, there's only two churches. And you cannot be, you can't be in both, or you can't be in neither. You're going to be in one or the other. Um, it goes on the state, I beheld the church of the Lamb of God, and it was its numbers were few. So of course, um, when these times come, that there's going to be only few in number. Um, 
of the church of God because the wickedness thereof will be so great that people will turn away from the gospel if they've come to it or they won't they'll be uh, despised if they if they come to these things or whatnot um yeah it's just, it says the dominions upon the face of the earth were small because of the wickedness of the great whore among whom I saw um and then it goes on and then uh, it came to pass that I Nephi beheld the power of the Lamb of God that it descended upon the saints of the church of the Lamb and upon the covenant people of the Lord who were scattered upon all the face of the earth and they were armed with righteousness and with the power of God in great glory well, these are just promises that God gives to us as we do the things that God asks as he, as he states before repent as we repent daily as we strive to do what's right as we strive to love our neighbor and, and just just follow the, the commandments um, these things will be showered upon us um, and then it states at the de that day the work of the father shall commence in preparing the way for the fulfilling of his covenants which he hath made to his people who are of the house of Israel then the angel states unto the Nephi look and I looked and beheld a man and he was dressed in a white robe um, and he had it being one of the twelve apostles, he shall see and write the remainder of the things, yea, and also many things which have, have been. Um, and he shall also write concerning the end of the world. The things which he shall write are just and true, and behold, they are written in the book which thou hast per beheld proceeding out of the mouth of the Jew. Um, and it goes on to say, at the, t at the time they proceed out of the mouth of the Jew, uh, the things which were written are plain and mo and pure and most precious and easy to understand of all men. So again, it's 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 uttering that at the time these are being written, they are pure and simple teachings of God and most precious. But because of man, because of the great abominable church, they took it and changed things. They made it so it's not pure. It's not exactly the way that was written it's been changed by man um so that it would it would stand as a stumbling block um so again it's re-uttering that but it is uttering that these words of of john the prophet um the apostle uh the beloved uh whatever you want to call him um john his words are are true and that they are just and so again we 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 as members we love the bible we we read from it daily we we teach from it we learn from it it is the word of god as long as it is as as it is translated correctly um because man puts his hand in a lot of things you know it changes a lot of things and the bible is one of those things um as you look in stories of olden times um literally um preachers and stuff would allow the bible to be taught or written in english because it, they didn't want the the Bible to get into the people's hands. They didn't want the people reading it because if that was the case, they couldn't ch make changes without them knowing, and that was a problem. They had they knew if they had the Bible and they could only if they controlled the Bible, then they controlled the people. But if the people got it, then it was going to be bad news. Be the guy that translated it into English was 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 killed before because of it was martyred because of it. Um, and then it goes on to state. Uh, many things which thou hast seen and beheld, the remainder shall uh, sh shalt thou see. Um, thou shalt see hereafter, thou shalt not write. For the Lord God has ordained the apostle of the Lamb of God that he should write them. Um, then he goes on to state that it was sealed. Um, the apostle of the Lamb was John, according to the word of the angel. And I, Nephi, am forbid, forbidden that I should write the remainder of the things which I saw and heard. And he goes on to state that I have written but a small part of the things which I saw. So I think that's pretty crazy. I think it's crazy that these, how many chapters, like four chapters, all Nephi talks about is these things. And he states that it is only just a very small part of what he saw. He saw so much, but he only put in there what he thought was necessary and what God allowed him to do. And he states that it was only a small part. And so I can only imagine the things that he has seen. And I wish that that was something that God could do for me, that he could open my eyes so that I can see these things. But I know that if it be the will of God, it will happen. But if it not, won't be the will of God, then it won't happen. Um, uh, 
but I know that Nephi saw these things, and he has written these things by his own hand, uh, because I've prayed and asked God about these things. And again, I, I reiterate these, that prayer is mighty. It is the greatest tool that God given is given us. We can pray and ask God if these things are true, and by the Spirit we will know these things will be true. And the Spirit is the testifier. It testifies of what is real and what is not. So if these things are real, God will make it manifest on you sometime. Either instantly, because some people, it's 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 like a light bulb turning in in the darkness. Some people it doesn't. Some people it takes a while. For me, it took a little bit. But after a while, after I studied and pondered the things that were written in this book, I, I could not deny the feeling that I felt. And I continue to feel as I read this book. I've read it multiple times. And every time I read it, I get good feelings. It brings good thoughts into my brain. It brings me more joy. It allows me to love my neighbor more. Um, and I, so I know that the things that this book teaches are true. And I know the things that have been taught in this chapter are true. And I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.